Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Christian Quinones taking on Haoni Barcelos. My pick for this fight is Haoni Barcelos. I've got him winning, I guess, by finish down the stretch, seeing as Christian Quinones has never been beaten by decision. And he's lost four times by finish. But it uh, certainly wouldn't surprise me if Haoni was to win by decision. He's overall a very versatile fighter, the better fighter as far as skills go. And even still, I'd say he's the less vulnerable fighter, despite being 36, almost 37, and having been knocked unconscious uh, last year, I believe, if not the very end of 2022. But uh, despite his profile having changed with him having durability issues, and of course, Kyler Phillips had him hurt, dropped him in uh, his last fight. But despite all that, Haoni Barcelos is still offensively a beast, very versatile fighter, incredible striking, incredible wrestling, and underrated grappling. He does have, I think, just two submission wins, but one of them is over Chris Gutierrez, a rear naked choke in his UFC debut, which is a phenomenal victory. And uh, his only win as of late is a shitty decision win over Trevin Jones. That's the only win sandwiched between all of his recent losses. But his losses are still two very good fighters, guys that I consider to be better than Christian Quinones. And Christian, having suffered his own setbacks lately, uh, the submission to Kwang Ho Kang, one where he was also dropped in that fight, hurt in that fight, I think... Uh, Honey Barcelo should win this fight, whether he finds some sort of durability issue or uh, is able to submit him or uh, goes to goes the distance. I envision Honey Barcelos being the cleaner fighter, having more ways to slow down Christian Quinones and outpointing him. The reason I'm not betting on him is because he's got durability issues, like I said, and also this fight's in Mexico. He's fighting a Mexican, so. And even a halfway close fight, that decision is up, up for grabs. So I'm staying away from this because I just have too much doubt. But my pick is still Haoni Barcelos to win. Christian Quinones has been defeated four times, twice by submission, twice by knockout. I was able to see one of the knockouts where he was eventually put away with a punch and a head kick. But really the body shot is what got it going. And that was in round two. And then... His two submissions I've seen as well. Kwang Okang got him out of there with a rear naked choke. And then he was also tapped out with a rear naked choke by Victor Madrigal. I believe his name is in round three. Now, what makes that fight extra impressive, and I believe I mentioned this last time, although I rewatched the fight again, he had his arm folded back, unlike anything I've ever seen, where the guy put all of his weight jumping back on an arm bar. It was insane. And Christian Quinones was able to fight fight and survive after being discouraged because he had a dominant first round, a good first round against the guy, Victor. Uh, but then he was, uh, the fight was taken over and he really impressed me up until he finally succumbed in round three. But regardless of how he looked on his way to the finish and whatever, he's still been finished four times, twice by knockout, twice by submission. I thought Kwang Ho Kang could have put him away any which way. He's a vulnerable fighter. And I, I think uh, even a guy like Haoni Barcelos, who's not the biggest submission threat, submission is on the table, certainly, if he's uh, dominating uh, Christian Quinones from the top. Christian Quinones, he's uh, definitely a good striker. I think he could match Haoni on the feet, and certainly early while he's flying. And you know what? If he has a cardio advantage, and later as well. But I think overall, he's... Uh, his game is lacking compared to Haoni Barcelos. I think Haoni is a comfortable striker, really good shot placement. I think he's somebody who could exploit body shots and whatever, any potential weakness. Because again, uh, the body shot is what got that other TKO rolling. And I also think uh, Haoni's wrestling uh, should be the story of this fight. Haoni's got good wrestling, dominant wrestling. And I think if he's able to uh, slow down Christian, he could take away the home field advantage and all that and also put himself in a world, uh, a whole new world of possibilities where maybe he can get that uh, 
second or third submission finish in his career. So how only is the pick? I'll uh, wait to see the props. If those rounds two and three props are worth something, maybe I'll throw a sprinkle. But in general, I'm just staying away from this. You know, uh, Haoni Barcelos, I was looking to bet on him before I saw the odds. I thought there was a chance he'd even be an underdog or something close to it. But instead, uh, he's a solid favorite, and I'm going to sit back and watch this one. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and check out my other videos.